Hi, everyone. It's Bev DeBono, and I have some fun borders that I want to share with you. I am going to use for the first one the fence border maker cartridge. And I know we always see the fence as being just a fence like this. But when you place the border midpoint of it, it actually creates a different look. So you see it looks different from this. It's a much smaller uh, look and it's the fence, but it looks more like a kind of, a, I don't know, like a, a peekaboo type of a thing. So these are three borders, three different ones, just using that technique. And I'll be showing that to you um, right now. But you can use any border maker cartridge that you have or punch. So the second one that I'm going to show you is made with a punch. Um, and this I'm going to be using the Infinity Heart. And you see how different it looks just nestled underneath the edges here and sometimes just cut, um, cut away into little pieces. So it is fun to play with your punches and they don't only have to go uh, across the top of a page or on the bottom of a page. So I know most people have the fence border maker cartridge. So I want to start with that one. And this is really a very fast, fast border. What you want to do is select a paper that's going to go inside your border. So your inner base. And I'm going to make the accompanying piece for that one. And then you want um, a piece that you're going to make your uh, outer base with and also outline your piece here. Okay, so I shall explain exactly what I mean. <clears throat> so we have two measurements to keep in mind, two and a quarter inch and two and a half inch. Two and a quarter inch is the size of all of these middle pieces. And it's the same same size we're using for this as well. The only thing that's different between these borders and these borders is the different tool that was used. So this technique you can use over and over with different tools. So our inner base, which is our main paper here, we are gonna cut to two and a quarter inches. So let's cut that to two and a quarter inches right on our trimmer. Okay, and the piece that goes behind it, the outer base is going to be two and a half. So I'm going to cut that one at two and a half inches. So very easy formula, two and a quarter inches, two and a half inches. Okay, and let's go ahead and tape that down, the inside border on top of your outside border. And sometimes I just put them sideways on my map so that I can line them up a little easier. Because it will just go from side to side about an eighth of an inch across up from the top and eighth of an inch out from the bottom. Okay, so this is the beginning of our of our border. We have a nice uh, edge around it. And I'm going to use that same paper that I made that edge with and punch out two borders with my border maker uh, cartridge, the fence. Okay, so I've already punched one complete one. And I'm going to punch a second. So with the border maker system, you the paper guide is underneath. You fold that out. You lift the blue arm and slide your paper underneath. 
and that has a nice magnet here that's going to hold your paper in place. And then you just put your paper guide back and tuck it underneath. Okay, so we're going to punch that border, one complete border, all the way down. <laughs> And now I'm just going to cut those off. I'm going to cut those off very close to this edge. I'm going to leave this fence portion out, but I'm going to cut very close to that edge. And that edge, it probably would be about one inch. So I'm going to line my tippy top of my fence paper punched paper at the one inch mark. <clears throat> so I have one, and now I'm gonna cut the other one at the one inch mark. And now all that I have to do is assemble this border base to these fences. So you see, I'm not using the big fence. Let me put this on, on lighter paper so you can see it better. See how big that is if we use the fence as it, as it is. That's a very large border. And that takes up an awful lot of room on your page. In fact, that takes up um, a good four and a half inches. <clears throat> so by tucking your border, your fence halfway underneath at the half inch mark, you still get that fun look just like that, and it's not as wide. Now you can do this with sca other scallop edges and things like that. Um, and one of the fastest ways to do this is just to flip over your base, I'm using repo tape very close to the edge of my base. Then I'm putting the border itself. I'm going to put it right. I'm just using the three inch mark only because it's an, an even number all the way across. And then I'm going to flip over my base. And now I'm going to put that right on the fence at the three and a half inch mark. So you see how easy it is by using your mat here and it goes right across and it's nice and even. We're gonna do exactly the same thing on the other side of it. Put a little bit of a half an inch repo tape across the bottom. I'm gonna put the cut, <coughs> excuse me, the cut fence, oh, at the three inch mark, and then line up my flat edge of my base at three and a half and go side to side right at the three and a half inch mark. So now you have it nice and even, and you're ready to embellish. So you could add anything else that you would want. And sometimes if you want to put a few more leaves or anything like that, sometimes um, I find that maybe you need a little square underneath the embellishment or the title. And that's usually a two inch or a two and a half inch uh, square. Okay, so that is border number one. And that is super duper easy. So tell me which one you like better. Do you like Halloween? autumn or football. And that's all with the fence border maker cartridge. Now I wanna show you one, the same idea, but now with a punch. And because it was Valentine's day, I picked the infinity heart punch. And again, we usually see our hearts or our punches um, in that direction. So you want to punch two rows of borders 
and you can use any other punch with this if you want to use um oh gosh we have so many border punches now that you have a lot to choose from and i am just going to do a quick punch here this is the infinity heart really very pretty i did the video on this uh, last week that showed a lot of different ways to use this oops i just i just punched that in the wrong spot no worries i just flipping it over and i'm gonna punch it correctly sometimes with these punches they um this one in particular has these little whiskers that come out of them. And um, I was not careful and some of my whiskers got stuck underneath. So let me start again on that one. <laughs> and I'm gonna cut my, I'm gonna start with a, straight edge again. All right, I'm gonna make sure all of my little whiskers are out of my punch. And sometimes you do have to do that with these punches. Um, you see that it is under some of the paper does these little whiskers get stuck in here and that sometimes is what jams it up. So it's always good to make sure that you turn it upside down and get a lot of these little little pieces out so that they don't jam your punch. Okay, so was not what I had planned to show you, but while it was there, you know, it does happen. And these are the whiskers that I'm talking about. They're part of they part of little things that come out of the punch. And you can make definitely decorate pages with those as well. Okay, so I'm going to punch uh, a border. And it's working much better because there's no whiskers stuck out underneath. So you need two of these borders. If you're using this one, actually you could use three if you want to make those little flowers that go on the inside. Okay, so now I have two complete borders and you see all the little whiskers <laughs> that are here and they can make cute little designs. I did show that on my um, my video last week. Um, okay, but we're gonna now make the border with this and we're gonna use the same um, measurements as we did for the one with the fence. So the first one is gonna be two and a quarter and then the outside edge is gonna be two and a half. So I am gonna do two and a quarter. This was from our beautiful Jazzberry paper. Two and a quarter is our inner. And two and a half is our outer. I just wanna straighten this edge up because it's a and then I'll cut two and a half. And then we have do, gonna do exactly the same thing we did with the fence. Now we're going to put the inner base. We're gonna tape that right onto the outer base. And I put it right on my mat because it'll show me where an eighth of an inch, I have an eighth of an inch border on both sides. <clears throat> and I'm gonna do the same thing I did with the other, the other one. I'm gonna line this up at the three inch mark. I'm only picking three inch arbitrarily because this way I can see where the half inch um, mark is gonna be. I'm gonna put just a little bit of tape, repo tape on the edge of that border piece. And then I'm gonna line it up at the three and a half. Or maybe I'll, I'll make it a little bit higher. 
So you can use any kind of like a scallop edge with this. And look how different that edge looks. The edge that I just put on there looks different from the punch edge itself. So you're getting um, another use of, um, of the punch. And then we just flip it over again and do the same thing. And we'll just put that right above there. And there we go. Okay. A very, very cute uh, border. But this border can make some flowers by just cutting the inside of, just by cutting some of these pieces of your border and overlapping them. So if you take two um, and then another two and overlap them like this, and you may have to skip every other one just to get a complete, like a flower almost. And you see the flower, the pretty flower design that you can make with that. So this is the exact same uh, punch, uh, but used um, as a flower and as an edging. And if you want, you can just add a square behind it, uh, your flower, just to pop it up. And very, very cute pages that can go either on your sides or across the tops of your pages. So I hope you enjoyed our borders and hope to see you again soon. Um, let me know which border you liked the best and subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's Bev De Bono Designs and I have quite a few videos up there for you to enjoy. Bye-bye.